what you do off the court. Let me try it out. Sure. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> Reflects what you do on the court. Call me F L A C K O and don't play no about my place. Think potato on that Drake of new bandana. But there are exceptions. For instance, these three kids right here. Because if they do this off the court, then they should be playing like the Flint Tropics before they met Woody Harrelson when they play on the court. They're like if the 2021 Lakers actually won games. Show on the street. <laughs> <laughs> Because these three won New England together. But what makes them so special, you may ask? Let me tell you a little bit about each one, from my knowledge. First, you have Jacob Farnham. I first met Jake in eighth grade. I met him when he walked into, a, I think it was social studies class in his Zachary's, and asked where his correct room was. And I shit you not, when he walked away and closed the door, every single girl in the classroom huddled up together, like, oh my god, who is that kid? He's so cute. Little did Jake know that him and all those girls would have a long, long history. But seeing Jake play basketball back in middle school was so mind-boggling to me. I was on the same team with him, and I'm not lying when I say he was the Damian Lillard to our Portland Trail Blazers. And seeing how he carries the ball and just evades through defenders so effortlessly was just something else. And I don't think I've ever seen any of his shots getting blocked. I think the only time I've ever seen him get blocked is when he's talking to Farrah Ballou. Then you have Braden Cole, better known as B. Cole. When I watch B. Cole play, he always seems to make his defenders look lost. I never really understood why until I met him and looked into his eyes. Beekle's playmaking and his isolation game, uh, complemented with how he uses his body in the paint, is the difference maker from what makes them good to what makes them great. If your team is down to the wire and needs a big play, just get some vitamin B10. Then the freak athlete of the group is Cameron Cobb. He's like if Zion Williamson had the same skin disease Michael Jackson had and never gained like 700 pounds even though they look nothing alike. His athleticism and his size is a nightmare for other teams and petite women. He's by far the best dunker of the team. He's got the best vertical, and he brings a lot of energy to the court. And you know, I'm naming all these great qualities about his strength and athleticism, but I also beat him in a push-up competition. From what I've been told, Farnham and B. Cole are in the top 10 for best players in Maine, and Cobb is either just outside the top 10 or has not been ranked inside the top 10 yet. Now, how is it possible for uh, three of the best players in Maine to play for the same high school team? First, let's talk about the 207 Elite. The 207 Elite is a current AAU team created by Jacob Farnham, and right now their record is 22 and five. Cobb, B. Cole, and Jake are the three-headed dragon of the team, but they are also joined by exceptionally well athletes. You have Reese Gardner, Caden Hibbard, Evan Kilfoyle, Evan Sterling, and Elijah Winners Only Craig. Next, they have recruited um, from Dangle Country, <laughs> Dangle Kong Country, I, I'm not going to say his fucking name. Now you must be thinking, with such good talent on the roster, there has to be a great coach leading them to success, right? Well, this is their coach. He's a sophomore in high school. He's the wizard himself, Reed Gucci Golden. How do you feel after losing to Mel Blue News? I want a rematch. It wasn't fair. Look at me. Look at this, bro. Now, he may not be Greg Popovich, but he does contribute a lot to the team, like... Get back to me on that one. I'm kidding, Reed is actually a good coach. He uses timeouts effectively. Uh, he has a good amount of basketball IQ. He can actually dig them out of a losing situation and keep them on top of a winning situation. Um, and he keeps up the energy and he keeps the players focused. And from what I've been told from all the 207 Elite players, they're actually very happy that Reed's a coach. But it's so funny seeing him coach because he looks so out of place. He looks like if Make-A-Wish and 207 Elite came together and just grabbed a random kid struggling with autism and handed him a clipboard and called him coach. Okay, Reed, here's your clipboard. All right, so your job is to go out there and stand on the sideline and whenever your team calls a timeout, you just come out on the court, have the team huddled up, and you just give them a good old prep talk, all right? Great, great. Reed coaching the 207 Elite further only proves that basketball is run mostly by players. So the story goes that Farnham meets B. Cole after Jake joins probably his 15th AAU team that he has been playing for that year. 
so he could recruit B. Cole to play for another AAU team he created, which we know as the 207 Elite. B. Cole then accepts his invitation and joins the 207 Elite and instantly bonds with Jake and Cobb, who is also on the team. And I would say they've become like very close to one another. I would say they're actually like family. A very odd family. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> now at the time, B. Cole was going to a Hyde Prep School located in Bath in Southern Maine. Hyde is a very high profile prep school that offers a lot to top class athletes. And is also seemingly affordable. Then B. Cole talks to the head officials of Hyde, and the th next thing you know, they're interviewing Farnham and Cobb, then all of a sudden, the GPA for Hyde plummets because Farnham and Cobb got a scholarship. And just like Osama Bin Laden and his group of terrorists after they destroyed the Twin Towers, they both went to Hyde. What are the chances? Now the Hyde basketball team is kinda good. With the roster being more intimidating than Jada Pinkett Smith's control over Will Smith, it's not a surprise that they went seven and nine and won New England's. But Hyde did make a big mistake by not firing their uh, current coach, Tom Bragg, and replacing him with uh, Coach Gucci Golden, because you know the team would've actually went undefeated and you know that Reed would have loved to ride the coattails of Farnham just a little bit longer. As of right now, Farnham is undecided where he wants to go for college. B. Cole is going to go to Quinnipiac in Connecticut. And uh, Pitbull is going to be partying with uh, Cobb because he's going to be going to Barry University located in Miami Shores. I want to thank B. Cole, Reed, and Jacob Farnham for your help because without them, uh, I would have not made this video. I hung out with all these guys once. And I've never been in a room full of basketball players since like I was in middle school. And I also hit like my growth spurt wicked early in middle school. So I was actually like one of the taller kids on my team. But then years later, everyone caught back up to me. So it was pretty fun for me who was uh, standing at a powerful and staggering 5'7 to have most conversations that night looking up. I was the second shortest person there. And we also had two girls over. Good luck to all the players on the 207 and Hyde team, not just with their uh, future in basketball, but their future beyond basketball. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm a one -on -one